You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have an annual face that's on TV, Peter Crone. Welcome, Peter. Good to see nice you. Nice to be here. Peter Pleasure. is a former Brockton, <coughs> Brockton police, police, police officer, officer, retired, yeah. but he's a hockey player, mm -hmm. and he works with the Boston Bruins alumni every year to do a black and blue and state police hockey team game versus the Bruins alumni. The date this year is Sunday, April 29th at 2 o'clock right here in Brockton at the AZF yep. Arena. Yep. And Peter, you've got to be one of the most effective charities that I know because all the <laughs> money that you raise yeah. goes to the cause. Right. So tell us about the event. <clears throat> well, the event will be at uh, 2 o'clock, the doors open, 2.30, the puck drops. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary for the Bruins alumni. It's a great time for them. It's our 27th year of playing them. And we're looking forward to just having a good crowd and a good time. And again, all the monies go to charity. We've given to over 50 local and international charities. We first started our international games in uh, 1989. And we've had a, quite a time and quite a go of it. So you were in the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics yes, at the yeah. time, AKA Russia now. Yeah. And it seems like that's a hot topic, but we were not, yeah, we're not yeah, talking yeah. politics. Um, that was a goodwill thing where people, right, yeah. even though they were on opposite sides of the spectrum, they could still get on a hockey rink and Everybody play. enjoys it. It's a nice thing in Russia. They have a big time with hockey. They sure do. Just yeah. like United States, Canada, Russia. But the ticket price, Peter, you guys haven't raised the price. It's $10 <laughs> for adults. It's yeah. $5 for kids. Yeah. And... You can bring a whole family. You, you, yeah, you can't yeah, we'll go near a Bruins game or yeah. a, a professional sporting event in Boston. You're paying for the tickets. You're paying yeah. for the beer. You're paying for the parking space. This is... And all these guys know how to play hockey. They sure do. <laughs> they sure do. Yeah. So um, I know you also, there are different groups that you work with, the charities that you work with, probably like the, the YMCA, <laughs> the Boys and Girls yeah, Club, boys things like girls. that. We've done the, that over the years. We've done... 50 charities over the years. This year it's going to be uh, medical missions for children again. They're the doctors that do, doctors and nurses do worldwide facial reconstruction, surgery, and cleft lip. Mm -hmm. We've got the Soviet Foundation, uh, the Brockton Rotary Club, and there'll be a few others there that slip my mind right now. Well, the Rotary Club, you're a longtime Rotary yeah. member. I'm a longtime Rotary member. Right. Um, Rotary does good work and does charitable they do, work. They do quite a bit of community goodwill. work. It's the 100th anniversary. Yeah. You said it's the 50th for the, for the Bruins. Bruins alumni, the 27th year you're playing, yeah. and Brockton Rotary is now 100, 100 years. Yes. So all sorts of anniversaries. So um, what, what, can, what can people expect? Who are some of the players? you you got a bunch well, of Well, I've got a group. We never know who's coming because... They're not committed to anything, but uh, I'd say we're going to have, uh, <clears throat> well, Bob Sweeney should be there. The chief may not be there because he's uh, getting up there in age. He's older than I am, which is unusual. I'm older than most of the alumni. Okay. But uh, Mackenzie, Tommy Songer will be there. Rick Middleton will be there. Probably Bill Bennett. Bruce Shoebottom's always there. Glenn Featherstone, Guy LaRue, Hal Gill, Tommy Sweeney. It's just, a, it's just a nice, wonderful time. Jeff Dumont will be their goalie, and he was the goalie I played against in the first alumni game back in 1989, so we had a little reunion every year he comes in. Every year I try to score on him, and every year I fail. Okay. But that's the popular, that's the popular situation we have. Like, our logo is beaten all over the world. So we're either the gracious guests or the gracious hosts. There you go. <laughs> now, you're also going to have a famous singer there again yeah, who's recently reti announced yep. his retirement? Rene Rancourt, he's been there for about the past 20 years. He will be there this year. He's a great person. He'll be in the lobby for anyone who wants photographs. Uh, he'll be doing singing, showing his ring. He's very proud of that. We also have a uh, guest referee, clown referee, called uh, Rick Cobain. He's a children's favorite, plus he's my favorite. I've got a few pictures of him with a hockey stick sticking through him. And okay. In my collection of memorabilia. And it's right here in Brockton. I mean, our, our yeah. own AZF Arena, where uh, our hockey, our, our Brockton High hockey team plays, youth, youth, youth hockey. Yeah, Ice really time is pretty valuable and it hard is. to get. It and is. The, I'm sure the, the, the management company is very supportive of what you yeah, do. Yeah, the FMC uh, arenas are very good for us. 
Uh, it's been a great relationship. I've skated up there for uh, many, many, many years, and it's just a good relationship we have with them, and it helps us out. Um, talk about some of your team members, your your, your own <coughs> team members for the... Well, we've got uh, several officers coming, and uh, there's going to be a lot of state police coming this year because we're merging the two teams as a, into a celebrity area. One will be... Uh, Major Roy from up in uh, Holden, Massachusetts is coming down. There'll be uh, two lieutenants, state police lieutenants coming down. And there's going to be a lot of the troopers that skate in this area and play in this area, and a few of them have been original black and blue since the inception in 1983. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's great. Problem I have right now is I'm uh, not as young as I used to be, so I may not be skating as much as I used to. Okay. <laughs> Who uh, do you have that, I mean, we, we cover the game, but we want you to go, <laughs> but who do you have, like, announcing? A, a, a they have an announcer that comes down. He does a great job. He's a professional at it, and they have uh, the whole crew. They come in with everything set to go. We simply invite them down and uh, they have a good crowd for them, and they, they enjoy it. This is their final game for the 50th anniversary year. They love coming to Brockton for that. Mm -hmm. We show them a good time, and I could say that we let them beat us, but... Uh, I guess they could probably do it whether we let them or not. There you go. <laughs> so um, it, 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 you could, and you want families. This is like a family. Yeah, it's event. definitely it's open not, to the families. I mean, for the ticket price, yeah. you, five people can come, and it's, it's yeah. not unaffordable. No. And if there's any teams that want to come in, they can give me a call, and we'll arrange for ticket prices for the team. Okay. Tell, uh, say your number, please. My, they can contact me at 508-326-8601. And do you, I don't think you have a website, right? No, no, we don't have a website. Okay. Um, we'll make this available to you in case you, if you, if any of them have a Facebook and people yeah, want to share it, we have a link that you can, more than happy to you share can post um, because we want to let people know about this. Um, uh, it, it, you, I think you had it on one date and moved it a little later in, yeah. in the April season. So this year we've taken the last day in April in the early afternoon for the Youngsters, mm -hmm. it's good. My team, the Black and Blues, have traveled to uh, Russia, as I told you. 1993, we were in St. Petersburg, and in 2013, we were invited to Moscow and down to Sochi at the preliminaries for the uh, Olympics, mm -hmm. and that was by the uh, Dynamo Hockey Club. Dynamo is a Russian word for secret police. Oh, okay. And they play uh, judo, uh, boxing, and hockey. And I brought over some T-shirts from a famous restaurant here in Brockton. I got 36 of them and the Russian general head of the FSB in hockey sports. He gave me a big bear hug and several other gifts and he said, Marciano, you're good people, Brockton. Hey. So we were somewhat known around the world. I would, I would say so. Yeah. So any, anything, Peter, you want to add to entice people to come? Well, it's a great time. It's a good sport. It's the only civilized sport out there, hockey. Uh, fans never get cold, hungry, or wet. They're always indoors. Hopefully. <laughs> and sometimes a boxing match or two, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for doing what you're doing. We're glad to help publicize it ahead of time so people know about it and get some of the sights and sounds there. Yeah, it's my pleasure, and I'm glad you're doing this for us. And thank you very much. Always glad to thank help. Thank you, Mark. Good to see you, Peter. Thank you. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.